You return from a lunch break and discover that someone has stolen $30 from your bag. There are four suspects, Mila, Henry, Jackson, and Victoria. When you ask them about the money, Mila replies she hasn't taken it. Henry says he's pretty sure Jackson's got the money. Jackson shouts, no way, Henry's lying. And Victoria claims Mila's telling the truth. Only one of these people isn't lying. Who stole your money? It's Mila. She, Henry, and Victoria are lying while Jackson's telling the truth. If anyone else had taken your $30, there would be more than one person telling the truth. How can you get from 98 to 720 just by using one letter? Add the letter X between 90 and 8. You'll get 90 times 8 equals 720. The owner of the restaurant, Vegan Paradise, called the police. He was in a panic. Someone has attacked our chef. He was taken to a hospital several minutes ago. Our rivals must have sent someone to ruin my business. When the police officers came to the restaurant, they learned that three people had been in the staff area during the accident. The first cook was cutting onions when the chef was hurt. He told the police his vision had been blurred because of the tears and he hadn't seen anything. The second cook was peeling shrimp when the accident happened. He said he'd been listening to music through his earphones and he hadn't heard anything. The third person, a waitress, claimed she had been serving lemonade outside. Who's lying? The second cook attacked the chef. Shrimps in a vegan restaurant? Really? And how fast will you find the answer to this riddle? It equals 4. Cat equals 6. Time equals 8. Hippo equals 10. Cheetah equals... The answer is 14. Each letter equals 2. Brenda was traveling by train. It was scorching hot in the carriage. The girl took off her gold bracelet decorated with diamonds and put it on the table in front of her. Several minutes later, the train entered a tunnel and it got pitch dark. When the tunnel was left behind, there was no bracelet on the oh table. No. Brenda was shocked. Someone's taken my bracelet. There were just three other people in the compartment. Helen said she'd been sleeping. Rachel was reading a book on her phone and Gregory had gone to the bathroom even before the train entered the tunnel. Who took the bracelet? It was Helen. Before she had her sleeves rolled up, but now they cover her arms down to the wrists, hiding the bracelet. What usually happens with plants in math classrooms? They grow square roots. A man walked into a room and saw three doors. The first one had a sign which read, To the Swamps. On the second door, there was a note, Lion's Den. The third door didn't have any sign, but the man knew for sure where it led. How? It was the door he had entered through. A baby giraffe doubled in height every month till it reached its dad's size. It took 10 months. How many months did it take the baby giraffe to grow half its current height? Nine months. Now, have a look at these two guys. What do you think? Who will not survive? Most likely the guy on the left. His slingshot sure can cause some harm to the guy on the right, but he'll definitely survive. But should he step off the wooden board, the other guy will immediately fall into an abyss. A rich man, Mr. Thomas Green, 
disappeared right from his home. The detective assigned to this case found a note at the crime scene. It read, 1st of January, 4th of October, 5th of March, 3rd of June. The detective guessed that the criminal's name was hidden in the note. The suspects were Jack Green, the rich man's son and heir, June Green, the man's wife, and John Jacobson, Mr. Green's employee. The detective deduced the name of the culprit in no time. Can you do the same? These dates supposedly stand for the letters you need in the words. For example, means the first letter of the word January, J, and so on. It turns out John Jacobson has something to do with Mr. Green's disappearance. Try to crack this one. Coat, o o o o o o o o. That's pot eight o's, which is potatoes. One end, three end, five end, seven end. This rebus hides odds and ends. Knee friended. What can it mean? It's a friend in need. A student put his final exam paper into the pile of other students' papers. The professor told him, "I saw you were cheating on the exam. You'll get an automatic fail." Strangely, the student just walked away. When the exam scores were announced, he found out he had an A. How come? The professor didn't know who the student was. That's why he graded his paper just like anyone else's. You're playing table tennis when your ball falls into a one-foot deep narrow metal pipe sticking out of the concrete floor. How can you get the ball out of the pipe if all you have is your tennis paddle, a plastic bottle filled with water, and your shoelaces? Pour the water from your bottle into the hole, and the ball will rise to the surface. You have an equation made of matchsticks. Six plus four equals four. Move just one matchstick to make it true. You need to take one matchstick from the plus sign and add it to the six, so it makes eight. Then you'll have eight minus four equals four. Once, a famous young singer, Brianna, who recorded her first album only a half a year ago, was invited to perform at a concert. But when it was her turn to sing, Brianna didn't appear on the stage. She was found unconscious on the floor in her dressing room. When the police arrived, they questioned three other singers who had to perform that day. Camila said. I'm new to show business, so I came up to Brianna to ask for some advice, but I didn't hit her. Scarlett exclaimed, "My younger brother is Brianna's fan. He's been listening to her for years. I've even taken her photograph from him." And Sophia told the police, "I didn't even see Brianna. I was too nervous before going on stage to leave my dressing room." Who hit Brianna? It was Scarlett. She said her brother had been Brianna's fan for years, but the singer recorded her first song only six months ago. I'll give you three clues, and your task is to find a four-digit number. Its first digit is useless. The second and fourth digits are mirror images of each other, and the third digit is half the second. This number is zero eight four eight. Zero is the number of no use. Eights mirror each other, and four is half of eight. It's rarely touched, but often held. And if you're smart, you'll use it well. What is it? It's your tongue. 
two planes took off at the same moment. They both had to fly across the Atlantic, but one plane departed from New York and headed for Paris, and the other left Paris and flew to New York. The first plane's speed was 650 miles per hour, and the other one was moving at a speed of 700 miles per hour. Which plane was closer to Paris when they met? They were both the same distance from Paris since they met in the same place. Your company produces shoes and has two factories in different cities. The workers of both factories steal shoes. You can't use any additional security, but you have to make it stop. How can you do it? One factory should start making only left shoes and the other only right ones. Welcome to the food festival. Here's Alice. She sells cold drinks. Alice allows her customers to buy one bottle of drink in exchange for five empty bottles. Phil brings her 77 empty bottles that he collected at yesterday's party. How many bottles do you think he can get in exchange for those 77 empty bottles? Bill can get a total of 19 new bottles. First, he returns 75 empty bottles to Alice and gets 15 bottles. At this point, he'll still remain with two empty bottles. When the new 15 bottles of drinks get empty, he can return them as well. This way, he will get three more bottles. And after finishing them, he'll still have a chance to get one more bottle because he has two bottles in stock. Bobby is selling fancy ice cream at a huge discount. That's why he has a rule, only one ice cream per customer. Bobby has only two flavors left, vanilla for one euro and cherry for two euros. Lisa comes over and gives Bobby two euros. Without asking any questions, Bobby gives her cherry ice cream. Next, Amy gives him two euros, but this time Bobby asks, cherry or vanilla? Why? Lisa bought a couple of 1 euro coins. This indicates that she wanted to buy cherry flavor. If she needed vanilla ice cream, she would have paid just 1 euro. Meanwhile, Amy put only one single 2 euro coin. That's why Bobby couldn't guess how many ice creams she won. Jerry is selling sandwiches. There are four available flavors, but only one of them is safe to eat. Can you spot which one? There's a cute little worm inside the first sandwich. The third one has a Lego detail inside its topping. And there are too many flies around the fourth sandwich, so it's probably rotten. But the second sandwich looks pretty good. The police arrested these three ladies suspected of stealing money at the festival. Take a look at them very attentively. Can you spot the one who intends to escape? The second lady is holding a file under her headscarf. She's probably the one who plans to escape. The food festival hosts a legendary pastry competition every year. Its 14th and 16th champions have the same father, and their mother is also the same. Both champions were born on the same day and time, but they are not twins. None of them were adopted, and both are females. How is that possible? They are the same person. And now let's see if you can make a good food critic. Can you spot anything weird about these cakes? This one is mirrored. How about these delicious cakes? Can you see any odd details?
This cake lacks one cherry. Bill and Wendy are having their first date at the food festival. They buy delicious fresh papaya and they take a seat in the food court to enjoy it. The papaya tastes sweet and delicious. Each of them eats two pieces. Ten minutes later, Bill gets sick. Wendy takes him to the hospital. Doctors claim that the papaya was poisoned. Bill and Wendy ate the same food and also drank the same drinks. How is it possible that Wendy feels well? The poison was in the seeds. Wendy threw them away, while Bill ate them all. Alex is observing a sitting lady, but he can't sit at her place if she stands up and leaves. Where is she sitting? The lady is sitting on his lap. Let's move on to the pizza shop. Can you solve this tricky sequence? Every segment in the new circle moves 90 degrees clockwise, so the third answer is correct. There are three odd things about this coffee shop. Can you spot them? The barista has two left hands. The reflection in this mirror shows everything upside down. And finally, this customer doesn't have a shadow. Miss White is the key investor of the festival. In the evening, one of the guests finds her unconscious in the backyard of the festival location. Detective Jones arrives at the crime scene and questions five of Miss White's co-workers, Bobby, James, Sally, Sam, and Sebastian. He also looks around and finds three notes. The first note is in the storeroom. The second one is in the art lounge. And the third in the makeup room. All the notes have a similar message. The clues are where you find the notes. Can you help Detective Jones solve this mystery? Sam is the criminal. Let's take a look at the rooms. If we take only the first letter of each room, we'll get S, A, and M. Arrange the letters and we'll have the name Sam. Diana buys a chocolate cake and leaves it on the table in the food court to go buy some drinks. Then she comes back and sees that the cake is gone. She questions three people standing nearby. Henry says, I didn't do it. I'm on a sugar-free diet. Miss Green replies, I'm allergic, young lady. I haven't been eating chocolate for 30 years now. And Kelly says, I'm sorry, but when I came over, this table was empty, so I occupied it. I didn't see any cakes. Who's lying? Miss Green lied about her allergy. She's drinking hot chocolate at this very moment. This evening, Mike plans to go to the movies with his friends, Mia, Dan, and Crystal. He buys a huge box of popcorn at the festival. Then, Mike puts it on the table and tells everyone, The film is about to start in 15 minutes. I have the time to go to the bathroom. Wait here and don't eat the popcorn until the movie starts. In a couple of minutes, Mike comes back and sees that the popcorn box is half empty. Mia says, it was Crystal. Dan replies, she's lying. And Crystal says, Dan is lying. Can you figure out who ate the popcorn? Dan. He's the only one who has popcorn crumbs on his cheek. Meanwhile, Jennifer is drinking her tea alone on the opposite side of the food court. Suddenly, she gets a business call and goes outside to answer, leaving her glass on the table. A minute later, Jennifer comes back and gets very upset. Someone drank all the tea from her glass. There are three people standing next to the table. Can you figure out who's guilty?
this woman in the middle. She left a mark of her purple lipstick on the cup. Can you spot a left-handed person among these five people? It's the barista. She's holding a tray with her right hand in a static position. Meanwhile, she's serving the drinks with her left hand, so she's most likely the left-handed person. Marta is making a fruit drink. The recipe comprises 90% of liquid and 10% of solid fruit mix. The total weight of the mixture is 20 pounds. After boiling the drink for a while, Marta notices that the liquid starts to evaporate. Now, the liquid comprises just 50% of the total weight. What's the weight of the drink now? Initially, the liquid occupied 90% of the overall mix, which is 18 pounds, and the weight of the solid was 2 pounds. Earlier, the solid contributed 10%, and now it's contributing 50% of the overall weight, but its weight is still 2 pounds. Therefore, since the liquid is now contributing 50%, its weight should also be 2 pounds. So the overall weight of Marta's fruit drink is 4 pounds. Diana, Frank, and Quentin cook pasta. They start boiling water in three identical pots at the same time, but Frank's water gets boiled first. Can you figure out why? He's the only one who closed the lid. And finally, let's take a 